Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I had a bit of problems with me um, YouTube this morning. Well, apparently, every time we download a new patch and delete the user spells, my settings change, and that's why I keep getting these blank screens. Okay, um, Godzilla has joined us today and he wants to challenge me to a race. Oh, it's a race now. Race. He wants it to, is a race. He a wants race to earn the most money. He wants to um, challenge me to see if he can make more money in his cutlass black. Kappa on the side of life with care bear traits. And I'll Me be on the side the... of death and pain and destruction. And I'll murdering be... people for money. And I'll be using the caterpillar. But just before I came on, we was actually doing a test on the um, shields. And he marmalized me. Now I'm trying to work out what kind of yes, weapons yes. we're using. I know I cutless, I cutless the pepper. It was doing from point blank range actually. So him being a tester now, I don't know how I'm gonna work that one out, <laughs> but still. Just let me see how long I've got my caterpillar before I can spot twenty half an hour. That's not gonna work. And the stream is working perfectly now. Oh you're back? I didn't go anywhere. No, I was shouting you earlier, actually. And I did answer. Right, Gonzo's about... 20 kilometres away. Let's see how much it'll cost to spawn this ship. I don't like spawning ships like this, you know what I mean? Hey, Gonzo, have you been in the um, 600 hour yet? And if so, what do you think about I it? Mean, the what? Have you been in the 600 eye yet? Yes, I found the interior most thrilled. Oh. Colourless and without life. I like polished metal, wood and ceramics. And you're, you're just as bad as little miss. She doesn't like it. Six, the 600 eye is just a tomb with engines. <laughs> <laughs> Be right back. So it seems like I'm the only one that likes a 600 eye then. But it's too buggy for me to fly at the moment. So, will it be two um, family farms and back? So it will be two a uh, family. Yeah, family farms and back. Uh, choose whichever prey run is most profitable for you. And say when to start. Okay. You must start at Port Yeah. And I will start at Grim Hex, because that's where my uh, DOS house is. Well, I'll tell no. you what. No. Bring your... Go to, if you go to our Grimmage, bring your ship and meet me back here, I'll wait for you. So Second, we both started Grimmage? No, uh, my ship is a bit buggy at um, Grimmage at the moment because it's too big. It's got um, a landing problem with the um, so landing gear, it creates problem. a vacuum. So it, it gets a bit tricky getting in and out. Um, this morning I spent time to clear my crime stat because I wanted to um, do um, well, like a bit of a role play, you know what I mean, etc. But I believe that's for another day now. So I'll wait here until you come back. I'll have to, while I'm waiting, I think I'm going to the civvies. And I think I've been here so long actually. Anybody who wants to join our channel and take part in what we in our activities, just click on the um, the Discord channel and join us. All's welcome. So I think you are waiting at Port Hollis, are then? Yeah, I'll wait for you to get your ship and come back. 
and you want me to come back to Port Olisar. Yeah, that's okay with you. Okay. Gonza is about 1600 kilometers away. Yes, I'm getting refueled and repaired and then pieced out. You've noticed today I'm actually wearing a cap. A baseball cap, but it hasn't got a proper hat that I'd like to wear, but this is to keep my head warm. Indeed, a cap and a cat. The Cummins will be joining us shortly. Because usually when I'm commentating, I make too many mistakes, but she'll just fill in the blanks. At the moment, oh I'm just walking around the promenade, just waiting patiently. Talking of bugs, I appear to be finding myself at the mercy of one. And what's that bug, Gonzilla? You need to horribly murder me at Cryastro. Why would I want to do that? Because you must, and I ask it. Okay, let me find this ship while I'm waiting. I am trapped in the Cryastro bug. The only way out is painful death. It seems like I'm in the two-player bug at the moment. Apparently, as you, all you guys know, when you first start, you're learning to play the game. This game is in alpha and it's a demo. There's lots of bugs as single player, but when you learn to iron them out, your gameplay gets better. But when you start playing this multiplayer, you've got a whole new set of bugs to work around. And it's wise to work around them until CIG actually fixes them. I think I will use a Sabre Raven. I have not used that in a while. I'm just going to use simple basics. I forgot how to fly actually. Right. I have to go and kill one of the colleagues against my principles, but he's got a problem. He wants to come to sudden death. So anybody out there, please don't think I've changed my roleplay by killing people, because I haven't, okay? It's good, it's good. Oh, well, wait I a appeal. minute. I appeal to the dark powers and I've been released. Okay, I was you. just going to say just now, if I shoot you, I'm going to get a crime stat. And if I find a caterpillar... Yes, yes, murder me. No, I have changed my mind. I have changed my mind. Go and torment somebody out there. Let's see how he's doing. I've lost him. No, I haven't. Oh, that's my Sabre Raven. Where's he gone? Ah. He's 36,000 kilometers away. I think what I will do, I will equip my... Um, I will equip my... Caterpillar. Nothing spectacular. Just enough weapon. Not weapons, I don't use weapons because obviously if I'm in there by myself I can't shoot nothing. I can't aim straight. I have arrived. Right. Excuse me. Full of wind today. That's okay, I'll leave that at that. Coolers. I use military.
By the way, you viewers out there, I am a peaceful, peaceful explorer. I'm not out there to um, tackle or disrupt anybody's play. And you'll notice because I will take my guns off my ships, I will be practically defenseless. So it's not really a map there to challenge anybody. We're just creating simple machines. Oh, yes, yes. Advertise your vulnerability to the predators. Yeah, well, I've got a couple of things up my sleeve there, you know what I mean? So I won't need to worry about that. Basically, what I'm trying to do is create gameplay for players that are not into combat and still earn credits and still have a bit of fun. You'll also notice when I'm actually on the ship, well not today, when I'm actually on the ships or in Port Hollister, I usually dress in civvies. But today I'm going to stay in the uniform. Personally, I don't recommend the path of the pacifist. Personally, I say. Yeah, well. You're on. Big, a big friends with those who don't try to murder you, probably. However, horribly murder those that attempt to murder you. I will take off my big guns so you can see that I'm not a threat. But, um, if you're going to be shooting me, I wouldn't advise it because. I'm sure that Bonzi is going to come to a rescue and he is a sharpshooter, okay? Trust me. But that's not what I'm trying to uh, practice here, okay? I just want to strip off these big guns. Don't need them. Can't use them. So I'm not going to waste my power. The only thing I've got is size 2's on here and they can't do anything because the ship can't turn quick enough. But if I was in the constellation, you better think twice. Okay, I'm already set and I'm just waiting for Gonzalo to come take part. The commission will be joining us shortly. If you can't hear much gameplay from obviously the ship, it's because I've actually had problems with my sound quality. I'm still working on it. Okay, basically, I usually use my TV. When it comes back into my system, it comes back in an echo. But because I'm usually testing my shields and recycling them and whatnot, and counting them, that's the reason why I use it that way. But today, I'm going to keep it off, so you're going to have to try and judge what's happening. I don't think I'll get attacked, because the people in the verse now are being civilised. Oh yes, they're civilised. Until, uh, until the cards are down, then they'll eat you alive. Apart from Godzilla, he'll leave you stranded. But apparently, actually, when I was actually going to family farms, he was actually following me for nearly half an hour. Now, yes, I thought he was yes, hostile. I can smell your vulnerability. <laughs> yeah, well, I wasn't going to shoot. Your stench of pacifism. I wasn't going to shoot him. Trail. But he's a got, snail trail for me to snuffle my way along. He's got some very heavy yeah. guns on there, and he won't tell me what they are. And all I wanted to do was just test the shields to see how good they were. But the way I see it, if I'm flying to our family farm because my shields are pretty good, I can be a distraction towards the enemy and Godzilla can actually be a parasite in their backsides and I won't be firing not a parasite, shot. I'm a I'm a predator. Well, no parasites it. are useful, yes, they are, <laughs> they are excellent for fine tuning and eating. As you can see, um, a useful tool in any ecological engineer's repertoire. Let's check that again. I don't ever save my ship, you see. So anybody thinks the caterpillar is hostile, it's only hostile if there's a crew on there. But you've been wasting time shooting at me because you can be shooting all day. If I think I'm in any damage or any danger, 
I'll just come back to somewhere safe where I can land. So you could be wasting your time. But you are willing to, happily to take part in this dream and you are happy to come onto our Discord if you'd like to take part. All's welcome. But please, no abuse or no personal attack. It's just a game, okay? And everything you've been saying, I predict that the eclipses going to hunt you down are going to darken the sun. You're going to be torpedoed to death. Why would you want to shoot your friend, Godzilla? Not me! All the predators you've attracted with your... I am a pacifist. I don't have big guns. Oh, my shields are impenetrable. Oh, I cannot be killed. Yeah, oh, yes. no, but, no, but the point is at the end of the day, the stats tell me at least they're watching. So, if they do come at me, I'm not going to be taking offence. I'm just saying, yes, they're interested and they're watching. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Some people take it the wrong way and say it's grief. And yes, it is and such because, as you know, we spend a lot of time trying to set up our ships and when it gets blown up, it is a little bit downhearting. But like I said, it's part of the game. But when it becomes constant, then yes, it is upsetting. And that's the reason why I try not to create enemies in the game because really, we're all want to try and enjoy it. Personally, I take the EVE Online stance. Start an insurance claim on your ship after okay. you've drawn it. Because personally, once it's left port, it's already as good as dead. Okay, I've just been instructed to get my butt out there, stop waiting and save money. I've only got eight minutes and I've got to spend the credits. I don't want to do that. But Pepper, you've got 62,000 there and you only have to spend 300 in your morning? Yes. I've got bloody good use for that 300 credits. By the way, anybody wants to take part and they haven't got credits, they've been wishing to fly with us, I'll be giving them a hundred, sorry, a thousand AUC credits. Okay? So you won't be doing it and just losing your credits or whatnot. There'll be something in there for everybody. Right. Okay, I've now claimed on my ship. And I will now Maybe set myself a beacon yet. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Well, I know a lot of people are going to be trying to attack him, which I hope they don't, so I'm not going to fill the ship with credits, but I'm going to put something on there, okay? It's no secret where I'm going. Okay, it's all in the gameplay. Are you trying to draw in the ravenous grief grounds? It certainly sounds like it. Well, with you on Matilda, I think I'll be okay. I think Gonzalo's getting nervous now. No, I'm just getting hungry listening to you speak about your vulnerability and your pacifism and no guns. Well, as long as you're behind me, I've got nothing to worry about. Of course I won't eat you. I'm currently hired. I don't I what? don't eat my contractors. <laughs> it's bad for business. Right, let's hope I don't get any bugs on the way. Where's my ship? But 
come to think of it, the way Godzilla shut me down just now in 30 seconds flat, I'm now starting to get worried now. Say that again, I didn't understand. I'm actually Isn't starting flat? I'm actually starting to get worried. You shut me down in 30 seconds flat. Uh could you say that more slowly? I oh god. I came out with it in the civvies. <laughs> I forgot all about that. Sorry about that folks, I got carried away and forgot to do my security checks. Basically what happened, I was in my civvies, went through the airlock, and you know what happened there. I was hit. You'll notice a lot more players now, when they are in Portalist or anything like that, they're all going to start using civilian clothes. I'm just looking for my ship. I'll use the back door. Okay, making the same mistake again. Right. Don't worry, every mistake is an opportunity to learn and get better. And I'm still learning. Oh yes, which is good. May each man do his best. May the best man win. May the worst man get better. Hopefully. Well, I'm actually going to earn an honest day's living now. And I've accepted the challenge to see who can make the most money between my caterpillar and Godzilla's cutlass black. I don't think he can. And I've made it fair. I haven't filled uh, the ship. Uh, uh, never, never underestimate the power of murder. <laughs> I haven't filled my ship to give my fighting chance. Basically where I'm coming from, my ship can hold 500 credits. I mean 500 cargo units. Um, Godzilla can only hold about 48. So obviously I can hold five, nine times the amount to his, okay? I'm not carrying cargo. I'm carrying bodies. That's oh more God. Bodies? Yes, the blood of the slain. Your ship of peace and trade, my ship of murder and destruction. But I have to help the weak and the needy, hungry people and sick. This is the mistake many people make, it's called communism. It results in more weak people. Communism always fails, and every time it fails they say, oh, that wasn't real communism. If you don't, if you don't help the weak and the needy, they become strong. If you help the weak and the needy, you end up with more weak and needy, until there are so many weak and needy, that there is no food left for anyone else. And then they all starve to death in Megadeth. It has happened many times in history. And you're still alive? Yes, because I am a scavenger. <laughs> I may do with what I must. You want to meet Atomic. You and him will get on up like a house on fire. Oh yes, we'll be the ones who set it on fire. To burn the peasants out. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake interplanetary craft. Your systems are online. Personally, we don't eat the meat of peasants, but our dogs, they must eat something. Well, I am expecting company, but let's see if I can set these up. Thrusters. 
Are you ready? Ah, one more thing. Gonzo is cheating, he's took off already! <laughs> oh, no, God. I'm just drifting around like a shark. I'm quite close. Just in case you viewers are just coming in, it's actually a race with my caterpillar and Godzilla's cutlass back. I've only got 10k in there to give him a fair chance. And I know what he's saying, he doesn't need it. Okay, we shall see. And we're off. My current, my current monetary balance is 41168. I expect trouble at our master services, but I think I can just hold me on so I can get out there. And we're off. Quantum drive is now on. Now on my first leg on a two-stop journey to Family Farms. Drive is now off. I will set a timer for one hour. That means I'm going to need more money. Quantum drive is now on. I'm now at selling. Quantum drive is now off. And I'm now at Grim Hex, devouring souls. Oh, I thought you were going to farm me farms! No, this is a monetary race. You're trading, I'm killing for money. Oh, okay. oh, I see where you're coming from now. So I'm all alone and helpless. Oh my god, this is going to be interesting. Losing time, messed up at a beacon here. Contact. I have company. Turn around. Fly away. This is trouble you don't want. Quantum drive is now on. That's 700 credits already. And I haven't even made one. Is now off. However, you make all yours in one big chunk. No, I, I, I went small actually. I went small.
contact. Turn around. Fly away. This is trouble you don't want. Are you back yet, little miss? I'm in no hurry. This is all in a day's work. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear any activity from the um, game itself, but it does cause its problems. And that's another 720 credits. He's just made 1,400, and I haven't made anything yet. Oh yes, the power of murder. All praise Lord Baal, the god of murder. I should have filled my ship now. I can hear you. Welcome back, right, Miss. I can hear you, you fair man. Sorry? Repeat again, Uncle Miss. What is it you would like me to do? Anything you like. Nice and easy like a Sunday stroll. Activate landing gear. So this was a bit unexpected. Uh, if I'd sorted things out, you could have actually seen the progress of Godzilla's work at the same time. That means two camera activities going on, backwards and forwards. But it's not going to be done today. It does take a little time setting up. And another 740 credits. He is now 2,000 in front of me now. 
we will see after an hour. I have a, I have a time of running. Me and I was taking pity on Godzilla. Did he film a ship? Pass. With these big ships, landing's usually difficult, and then when you do land, you've got to make sure you can get back on your ship. Just finding somewhere to park the ship. So does combat pay more than cargo? That is a question. I know it doesn't, okay? But at the end of the day, that's to everybody's whatever. And another 740 credits. Wow, he's really kicking and I haven't made nothing yet. What exactly is he doing? Well, we're in a race to find out who can make the most credits. And I think I've underestimated Godzilla. He's um, doing combat of some sort. It's just a little bit difficult commentating and concentrating at the same time with pretty simple keys. Apparently it's a competition between me and Godzilla to find out who can make the most credits. I have apparently underestimated Godzilla. I didn't form a ship. So I am now at a disadvantage. It seems like we won't be getting a griefing like most players usually do, which is good. So does combat, is combat better than cargo runs? We shall see. I am, put, I am totally defenseless at the moment, so I can't fire back. So for Greepers, it's pointless. But if you do want to take the chart, if you do like to take part in our stream, jump into Discord. Um, I'm sure you can find it if you are actually watching on the stream. If you wish to join us on Discord, it is in the link is in the description below. I'm going to get a quick drink. Hopefully it doesn't cost me the race. <laughs> I made 700 credits there, okay, on 10,000. Now, as you know, Gonzalez has done three times that amount, okay? I do believe process food goes back. To Lesky. Lot of noise outside there, it's making me kind of nervous. Okay, so you can see the competition is now on between me and Godzilla. I've got everything rolling on this dice now, just to catch up. I am totally unarmed. Ah! 
I thought I took my guns off. Well, I can't use them anyway because they're, they're on Tarrants. Return trip back to Port Hollister. Landing gear up. I usually like to stroop straight up because I don't think there's enough power going forwards and using thrusters and all them kind of things. I think it's still a bug in the game, and this is the quickest way out. Just look at my altitude monitor and how high I climb. Before I can actually do any alterations, I've got to be roughly about 5,000 feet before I change trajectory. If I change trajectory before that, the pull back down to the planet is pretty strong and sometimes it's difficult to correct it, especially if you don't notice it. When I'm actually coming into these planets, I don't come in dead on I try to skim the surface of the atmosphere. Reason being because when you're coming in dead on, you can't slow yourself down quick enough sometimes. So skimming it is the best way. Well, for me that is, in big ships. Right, I'm now going to plan my course back home. left that's a beacon for me to head straight back on but I'm still on a climb reason being is because I don't want to lose speed okay the quicker I'm out of the atmosphere the quicker I can go home but I can actually turn towards it as you can see this is the quickest way out of the atmosphere for big ships like this I should be clearing trajectory any time now. I've actually set course for the Comrade actually. The reason why I didn't um, set course straight for the moon is because it gets a bit tricky sometimes and you can lose. You would just really use perception. As you can see, Godzilla is somewhere back before me and I'm still trying to break the atmosphere, oh, that broken atmosphere, how come this got slowed down? Atmosphere, but I need a clear path to um, Cry Astra before I can go into warp. Taking me actually. 
I must have been the far side of the moon. Now, if I was going to Lesky, I'd be making 8,000 credits every 10 minutes. But the reason I chose not to is because the bugs it creates. So sometimes it's better to... I have problems. Let's see what my opponent is. An adventure stalker. Now I don't know if it's friend or foe, but apparently I think he'd be watching this dream. One piece of advice, ensure that you set the course for Port Polisar before you reach Kyastra. I am on your attack. I won't attack back, I have suffered some damage. And the problem is, I can't stop at Priastro. to mention I got another 74 credits and I'm about to get another. I'm still climbing. And another 740. <coughs> the reason why he's actually finding it difficult to shoot me down is because I've got modifications to my shields. I do hope you escape. No, I am now starting to show red. No, don't die. No, I won't die. Good, good. Never give in. Never surrender. <coughs> now I've got a bad <coughs> Shield system online. Quantum drive is now on. is going to win this but there's no way I can make it to, to, to repair this ship. But as you can see I was on, I was on the constant attack and I wasn't shot down. When you panic things go wrong but when you practice with the tools you've got you understand the ship and how to go about it. This is a cargo ship, not a combat ship. So the idea is to get to safety the best way you can. 
I think I'll land in the same deck that Is that torpedo? I'm actually trying to think what to do here now. There's no way I can go and repair the ship because everybody's going to be there waiting for me, even the cat's dinner. <laughs> well, I suggest you go to Port Alasar and get to the uh, trading terminal and then sell your cargo. Yes. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I have everything riding on this, actually. That's why I didn't stop up crap. Now, Gonsula did about 3,000 roughly on his attack where I've only just made about a small amount. I actually underestimated Godzilla and that's the reason why I didn't film the ship. You underestimated the power of murder. Landing gear down. I would say we've got about this no, he's not playing for credits. I have to use credits. The reason why I have so much confidence in the, um, the Caterpillar is because of its shields. It's got two size threes. I actually personally think it's actually better than the um, Starfarer personally. I know the Starfarer's got buffs on there, but I don't think... Well, no, that's really for the hull, isn't it? So don't be treating the caterpillars like, like a bumper car now, okay? And another 740 credits. Now I know it's going to be a bit unfair to use a different ship, but as you can see, obviously I'm easy prey. You're only easy prey if you don't have an escort. And I apologise for that. Well, if you've noticed, when you look back at the stream, I was under attack. And I still made it back to Port Olister. Indeed you did. But I don't think I could make a second run. Because I know there'd be twice as much enemies out there this time. But this and time, another 740 credits. Have you reached the trade terminal yet? No, nope, I'm just on my way there now. But if um, Lesky was working, and working properly, I would actually be using that as my go-between. But because of the bugs at Lesky at the moment, I had to use all of alternatives. I could have found from, from Hicks, to family farms, but I thought, yes, keep it interesting and come back home just in case. This is live, by the way, on court.
and traveling with cargo. Yes, I'm at the terminal now. We'll be doing about two ticks. So I take it the race is over? And... Well, if the race is over, you'd have made a lot more than me. Well, I take it that was a reasonably quick run for you? No, it was actually slow, actually. I was a little bit nervous because I was actually playing with you and then actually broadcasted what I was carrying, knowing I was going to get a little bit of attack, which is good because it shows you can actually get a good, decent play, gameplay, even using a caterpillar unarmed. And if you notice, I didn't fire a single shot and I was able to do a return trip to SJ in this hostile environment. But if I was using a small ship, I'd be thinking twice. So I presume that, um, well, we already know. He's already beaten me, okay? With the power of death and destruction and murder. Little miss. Money for murder. Little miss. Yes. Do me a favour. On sixty thousand, carrying food. How much to make, please? Yeah. One second. Right. I'm figuring out how much I made. I started with 41,160 credits. Yes, I started with 41,116 credits. Let's check my balance now. Oh, I see you made about 3,000. Okay, I've got. 47,812. Right. On my first run, I picked up 10,000 of agricultural supplies. I didn't fold the ship. Reason being, I didn't think Godzilla was going to be such a good opponent, so I didn't fill the ship. But if I did fill the ship, I would have made at least 6,000 in AUC credits on that run. And I don't know how much I made back on the return trip. I presume roughly about 3,000. So in total, I made 4,000. 10,000 the first run, that's about 1,000 credits. And the 3,000 on the return trip. I'm just waiting for the club miss to give me back the figures. It would be suicide to take the ship out of the second run at this moment to me experience. The ship's damaged and I know I can't use the armed services. So it would be suicidal. And wasting credits. Would you agree, um, Godzilla? Or do you think I should go out there and do another run? Because I think we've got half an hour left. Right, where did you take off from, please? Port Alista to Family Farms. The first run was agricultural supply that took 10,000. On the way back, I spent 60 odd thousand on food. So my prediction is roughly about 5,000 on the return trip, which could have been an easy 10,000. Traveling the so category. you went to put from Port Olisar to family farms with agricultural supplies, yes? Yeah, only 10,000 are used. Yes, then you picked up from Gallat Family Farms processed food and you're going back to Port Olisar, yes? Yeah, and I spent 60,000. Right, okay. Well, it's a bit more than that, but 60,000 to make it easy. Right, what I will do, I will strip the ship because the ship's damaged. I don't know what plans are Godzilla's got, but I've got plenty of ships to take part in different situations. What ah. Ah. You're saying profit would have been 3,206. 
Is that in total or in what commodity? That's in processed food. And uh, would you like to know how much money I made? One second, Dad. Uh, I made 3000 in processed food. How much did they make in yeah. agriculture? I'm so just about to find that out now. Give me, okay. give me a second, please. And you've done 10,000 in agricultural supplies, yes? I've done 10,000 in agricultural supplies and 60,000 in processed food. Processed food, right, thank you. So that's Good roughly business. about 4,000. And my grand total for my spree of soul hunting and murder is 6,699. You scallywag, you beat me! Well, next time that won't be, because I'll make sure I travel the full cargo, okay? And you could have lost yes. your life. Where I know yes. I would have survived. I lost. <clears throat> well, it was good. It was good. It was unusual. Yeah. You expected, you expected a straight cargo versus cargo challenge. Yeah, I did actually. You realised that it was cargo versus <laughs> murder. <laughs> Well, everybody to the best of their ability. And the good thing about it is, we both survived in this hostile space adventure. Well, uh, um, I'm just... Yeah, look at me, how much is it? How much? 3,700 in total. So I made roughly about 4,000, yeah? Yes. Okay. Um... If I no, it doesn't really matter. He actually thinks I made just under I made just under four thousand. And what did um Gonzalo make again? Six thousand six hundred and ninety nine. I would have actually just beat you by a shade if I filled my ship, but just by a shade. Yeah, the game's getting pretty balanced actually. So really, um, under normal circumstances, I would have said it was a time. But at the moment, CIG is trying to balance the economy, so there's no advantage with cargo runs and also attacking. When mining comes in and other things comes in like that, they'll also balance that. But at the moment, it is early stages. But it all depends on what ship you've got and how much credits you've got. Me personally, I don't want to buy credits in the game. I bought the ships to do all of that so I have a challenge most of the players have bought want to buy credits or what they call it pay for win no I would only spend money on defenses not to cause havoc but that is me okay I'm not saying you have to do this and you have to do that I am a defensive We're player sorry. you exceeded the allotted time to depart but hello Gonzilla this is Gonzilla Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. So I will stop this stream for a bit so we can all have a coffee break. If you'd like to take part... Oh, <laughs> what's this guy doing? He's a comedian. Let me see him. <laughs> oh my word. Just give me a sec. Just let me get my civvies on. Can I just say, had you have taken the steel spirit at 60,000, you'd have got £4,000 profit. Wow. Well, would, I, would I have beaten him? But I didn't know because I was in the trading app, you see, so I couldn't actually... Yeah, and, I'd, and no, I know, I did ask you what you wanted me to do, I got no reply. Yeah, I didn't hear you because I... Also, had you have done £60,000 of agricultural supplies, you would have got almost three thousand pounds profit. So how much would that have been on the return trip then? No. Had you gone agricultural supplies and put all this archer selling, still at family farms, you'd have got just under three thousand pounds profit. Okay. And had you gone distilled spirit from Galat Family Farms to Port Olisar, you'd have got just over four thousand. So you'd have got just over seven thousand pounds profit. So in that case, I would have actually 
beaten um, Godzilla. Yeah, you would have, yeah. yeah. But our uh, there is going to be a rematch. Is and that, is what that? you saw was not even my f Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> Ooh, he thinks he's Usain Bolt. <laughs> that is Godzilla, folks. I first met this guy in Omega about a year ago. We did our first dream. I didn't have a clue what was going on. He was in the reclaimer. It was me, Nicole Miss, and Frizzer. I'm in the ship. Um, something had happened. He took off and left the Miss dangling. He so abandoned it. me. <laughs> yes, the strong survive. He left me to Let's die. Perish. You didn't die, that's just it. No, I said he left me to die, but lucky enough. Pepper was with me, and I think Frizz come back to rescue us. I can't yeah, remember. you was doing. I came you back to rescue you after I'd murdered, murdered the, the monstrous cunt that fired the torpedoes at us. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, you'll start noticing that a lot of players now will be using civvies, um, in port to others as an establishment like this, and when they fix the six hundred I, I'll be on there most of the time in civvies but at the moment I have to take a back seat on that because they're slowing down work on that so I can't actually develop any gameplay you know something you took a chance you know uh, Godzilla calling Zilla it's easier no because when he first came on Right, he stood in front of me. I couldn't see who it was or what not. Yeah, you know I mean, and I could have shot him down. Not that I was going to anyway, because it's not my gameplay. But when he done the famous waddle, then I knew it was friendly. It's a code we have when um, we're friendly. We do the waddle. That means we're not going to attack. So we hope that when the other player sees the waddle, he shows the same courtesy and not to attack back. But obviously. It's what you call, or how you decide to play the game. But well, that is a code we actually use now. Okay, some players will break it, but obviously, when they get into trouble, they're on their own. Well, I would imagine, seeing as you've had you as a friend in South Prison, I expect your name came up as Pepper Zero One. And he probably realised who you were, so he wasn't going to shoot you. Well, actually, it took me nearly 10 15 minutes just to um, type text on the, in the text chat. And I did recognise the name, you know what I mean? And I couldn't get up, I was looking around for him to see if he was on channel somewhere, then discovered he hadn't joined, so I thought, well, let's get him up there, old friends getting back reacquainted. At the moment, I'm flying under the, under the flag of unity. Uh, what it stands for is all for one and one for all. We try to help everybody who is in distress. Teach them what we can and what not. That is the flag of unity. Peaceful and touring the galaxy the best way we can. We're not hostile, but we will learn how to defend ourselves as time goes by but at the moment it's just learning the game you try to share credits if you haven't got credits so you can carry on I'm actually a role player in the game I'm an engineer and I'm also an explorer I think them two go well at the moment I can't say combat because that's not me little miss she's a hauler that's Tito's cargo and anything to do with finances that will be her role so basically anything I make I pass it on to her and she dis distributes it amongst the rest of the players so they should need to struggle except I'm pretty crap at it right now 
Um, little Miss, she's actually a org member of Omega. I'm an affiliate. Basically, I like the freedom to do what I want to do at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Because each org has got their own ideas and their own aspects in the game. It's not that I'm not friends with them, I am friends with them, but at the moment, I just want to play in defense at the moment, create a different part of the game and whatnot. But I will be with um, Omega as time goes by, but at the moment, I just want to play this sort of role play and build up something for everybody. I'm just sizing up um, Godzilla at the moment. So I think I will take my leave now. I'll just go find a seat and sit. Oh, wait, before I do that, I need to strip my ship. And as you can see, Godzilla is going to be doing the whole same bolt. But I've got to strip the ship because the ship's damaged. Anyway, thank you for anybody out there taking part and not shooting me down. If you would like to join, um, the Discord channel is there. We can all take part and try to create new missions within the game to keep the game interesting. And actually uh, discuss what we've learned. Don't need to strip the weapons. I've um, got quite a bit of weapons, but the reason what I want, I usually want the size threes because obviously I've got quite a few ships now that so use size you're three. stripping the few guns you had on that caterpillar. Are you going to turn it into a complete nut of wobbly <laughs> semolina pudding? No, no. I'm actually um, taking all the power cores off actually because those are usually very difficult to get hold of and when you spawn in the caterpillar it takes about 40 minutes you see. You know what I mean? And you can actually buy them in game at the kiosk, but there's a lot of players out there at the moment that are struggling. So this is like a workaround so the game doesn't stop. But if you look at the my game ship. Goes, strip the ship. Yeah, that was um Todd's um making. I've been doing this for really nearly about a year, you see. My um my inventory is like a warehouse. Just so, are you up for a rematch then? What now? I was going to take a coffee break for half an hour. Oh, oh my no, rematch whenever you're ready. Yeah, well, let's have a half an hour break and come back and we'll do another rematch. And I'll actually retitle this. But I might take your advice this time and not advertise. Gives me a fair chance since I've got no body there watching my butt. Ah, yes, and don't forget to set the course for your next location while you're quantum jumping to the location you need to get to. Sure. So say you jump from say you jump from from Selin to Cryastro, make sure that you set a course for Port Olasar before you reach Cryastro while you're still in warp. That way you have a, a jump point already to jump to. Yes. Because I... you got ambushed at Cryastro, didn't you? No, I didn't actually. I was ambushed on the way out of Family Farms. He oh, gave, really? Yeah. Now, oh, that's how I did not know. Okay. Well, that's usually where I'm usually very vulnerable. Take off and landing on that planet. But like I said, with this ship, okay, the shields can actually cover you for a good part of the arm. Um, journey is the hole that's causing the problems at the moment because ballistics are going through the shields oh yeah. and rabid badgers from the seventh plane of shoggoth my own personal rabid animals badger repeaters size yes. two you wasn't yes. using that on me i was yes at point blank range 
Yes, but I've cursed them with the sh with the curse of Shigarath. Made them very rabid, very frisky, and very horny. Very horny badgers, yes, they yes, they, they eat any ship any ship for lunch. Well size twos don't usually go through my shields that quick, so it must have been because you Mine do. Oh yes, they what, do. What were the size twos or size threes? Size two rabid badgers. I've never seen them eat that quick. They might be because you knowledge, sir. Eldritch knowledge. No, you were shooting me from point blank range. You was out there for destruction. I was just trying to test the abilities. I can see that. And, and that wasn't even my final form, as I said. Is that right? So I'm going to be expecting worse I armor. I have nameless horrors from the deepest depths of the unknown buried universes. The corpse worlds. From within the eye of terror. Now the haulers will still I be. Look I look forward to our rematch. Oh yes. Well, I'm just going to stop this stream now, okay? Oh yes, I'm not quite finished. I'm looking forward to the rematch. We will have a rematch, don't you worry. And I will slaughter you there too. You know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of Dr. Evil. <laughs> I thought it was Frankenstein.